Hey loves, this is Vivian. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. And for the title, you might know that I'm going to be trying wigs from Shein. I've seen so many fashion hour wigs, colors, different changes, combination of sulfide shadow with wigs. And I was like, I want to try that. I love changes. I love different. So I was like, I want to try that. What if I like it? So for getting started, I said, let me play with cheaper wigs to see how they work. I know I started doing a better research and then learned way more about wigs. So I got three wigs from Shein. So like this video if you like it. So let's get started with the wigs. I got three wigs from Shein. I got one that is kind of a black with yellow, two tones. I got a red one and a blonde one. The most expensive was the red one and this retails for 22 and I paid 9.82. I never pay full price in Shein. There's always coupons for Shein and they looked so pretty on the models that I said, I want to try them. I got this wig cap to try the wigs and see how they work. <laughs> so, okay, which one do we start with? I believe the black one. I want to get a black one because there are many times in which I'm like, I'm tired of coloring my hair. I want to go back to basics. How would I look if I use black, if I color my hair black again? I see this beautiful YouTubers like Carly Bible. Of course, I don't look like her, but Horakatan and they look so gorgeous in their black hairs and so sexy that I'm like I would like to look like them that's my natural hair but then this one I'm like oh, what if I don't look good <laughs> and sometimes I even try apps and I don't like how I look with black hair this retails for 18 and I paid 15.48 for this one with the coupons I'm going to show you a picture here of how it looks in the model. So you can compare how it looked on Shein's website and how it looks on me. It's not black, black. It's like a medium to dark brown and then goes down to brown, blonde. It's kind of an ombre wig and it has some bangs too. And it has lace on the top, but it's not the clear lace. Parting is not that much of a possible. And it has this here, the strap to secure it on your head. I'm going to tie up my hair. I will look funny and I will be back <laughs> to try all this. It's me. Yes, it's me without hair. <laughs> I tried to make the, a tiny, teeny, tiny ponytail the tiniest possible on the back to put on the wig and my hair is already starting to fall. I have seen videos in which people braid their hair like this and rolls to the back, but I don't know how to do that. So let's see how this cap works. It's a beige cap. Oh, it's like a pantyhose. Okay. Here we go. Let me see. And then put it back in here. It worked. Uh, how do I pull it? Uh, I'm pulling my hair. <laughs> okay. So let's keep trying. I can do this. I can do it. I can do it. I trust it. I, I trust that I can do it. Ugh. Some hair is sticking out. Well, let's try them. Forget about this. I know I look like Kukuloka, right? I cannot recognize myself either. Let's put it down, secure it, and lift it up. So that's what I'm going to do. Here we go. Okay. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Um. better 
That kind of looks like me. I used to have black hair. I think I can pull it a little bit more to the back. The placement in the edge is pretty good. It's like my almost my natural size. So it's not that bad. Here is kind of a little bit short. And covering my ear. And here. Maybe with some of that lipsticks that are available now to color the hair, I can color these parts for coloring the roots or some powder and color them temporarily. Let me comb it through so I can put it in place. Now I can see better. Now it's kind of annoying because the bangs are all the time on top of my eyes. I cannot like move them like my natural hair, obviously. Okay, look at this. Now, let me tell you. The wig feels silky soft, like compared to those party city wigs that I bought for Halloween and stuff like that. It's amazing, it's not itchy. It feels silky soft, it is so soft, so shiny. And I know many people don't like the shine of fake wigs, like when they are not natural hair. But this is not super artificially shiny, do you see? If you not want less shine, you can put some dry shampoo and take it off. But it is pretty in general. I mean, this black part over here reminds me of myself when I had black hair. <laughs> it is pretty though. What do you think? I like it. It is a little bit annoying over here. I don't know if I can do anything about it. Maybe pinch it to the sides. Hmm. For a bad hair day, I think this will be priceless. Maybe I can heat it and style it. I need to check that. Let me check and I will be back. The red wig says that it can be heated, styled with flat iron, blower, curler. But this one didn't say anything. No instructions on whether you can either style it with heat. I will just try in a very low setting. Guys, look at this part. The part here is amazing as you can see it looks like real natural hair now i'm holding this to the side because i was trying to see if i can part it to the side and it looks better to the side as you can see than parting in the middle look i will put some hair clips like here let me show you let me show you the wig it's like this long it looks pretty i like it hmm? You see? It looks cute. And even liking the black. It is not black, it's a dark brown. I look with my original hair color. Think about it. The bad thing is that to remove black hair, if you don't like it, and go back, it's awful. There we go. You can hold it to the sides. Or just one side only. It is pretty. It can solve a fashion problem on a dirty hair day or a bad hair day. I like it. Let me show you how it looks from the back. I have a little bump on the back from my ponytail. I'm, I'm in training. I'm new at this. As you know, let me... This is how it looks. It is pretty. I like it. I like it. I see myself using this even for the videos like, to show my looks. Now let me show you the part in the front. Over here, which is the very front, is not that good. Look at that. Over here, it's not horrible but it's not the best as you can see it's, it sticks to my face so I will try to just lay these hairs flat and curl it a little bit to the side like I do with my original hair over here to see if they hold over there if not I would just use some hairpins or stuff like that and clip it to the sides but in general 
for the price I paid. It is super soft, silky, and it is pretty. This is a little bit bad here. The main part is really good. So, oh, oh, and it's sweaty. Oh my gosh, freedom. <laughs> okay, second one, blonde. Let's go with the blonde. The blonde one retails for $17 and I paid $14.62 with the coupon. This is so long, look at that. Without flipping over my head. I will look for the straps and let me see if I can do it this way better. It's a little bit more complicated doing it like this, I think. It got tangled anyways. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I, I have it to the side. That is not correct. Now, now we're talking. Let me show you how this thing looks. It looks weird. <laughs> this is more weird than the other one. Oh my gosh, what in the world? And this part is worse than the other one, way worse. So look over here and look at the model. This is how she looks and this is how Vivian is for the moment looking. Do we look alike? I don't think so. What is this? Oh my gosh, look at this. This edge is so freaking bad. Look at this, this chunk over here hanging. And this is such a huge knot. Ew, looks like burnt hair. This one is really bad in the front. I don't know if that's a factory defect or if they're all like that. I didn't see that over the internet. Over the internet looks really nice. This one, I don't know how to part it. The model has it parted in the middle, but my gosh, look at that. It is like lots of knots sewn to the cap. Ew, this is poor quality. At least here, the hair feels really soft, really silky. Doesn't compare to a Party City wig or Walmart. I can comb it through as you can see. Okay, I have still have the ticket over here. And I believe that I chose all my wigs with bands. The color looks pretty, what do you think? So far, which one is winning? The dark brown, almost black, or the light blonde? How do I look better? Black or light blonde? And by the way, if you like my eyeshadow look, this is a new cremated eyeshadow palette from Jeffree Star. Check out my video on that. It's looking better as I brush it and put it in place. Okay. It's not that bad. What bothers me super bad is this. It looks like a bird's nest. Look. It's so tangled. It's horrible. And how do I cover that? You know, I cannot put all this hair from the top to the front like this. I would have to cut the bangs short to be able to move this to the front and cover those knots. If the wind hits me, that will be exposed. Boom, in your face. I like this color too. <laughs> Oh my gosh, let me know which one is your favorite color on me. Look how pretty. Show you from the back. It sucks, let me see if I can part. I cannot part, it, it's hard to part to the side. Ew, this looks really bad. This is not like the other one. Oh shoot, I will have to do like some girls that they put like a band in the front or a hat and they take the pictures. It's really bad. I cannot divide it anywhere. Look, 
and other not over here. Such a bad quality. The hair quality is good, but the way it is sewn to the front is bad. Let me see if this way I can do something about it. It looks weird. I cannot part it. Over here, let me see. Mm, yeah, this is not a real part. Some hair is sticking out. No, I cannot part. So I will have to part from here to here. Oh my gosh, look at these edges. This is blah, bad. For Halloween, it's priceless. It is good. But for real life, oh shoot. I will have to comb it like this. No, I need to move this piece of hair to the front. Hold it to the side or something like that and hold this one. Over here or with a hair clip. But, oh gosh. What do you guys think about this model? I think that it's crappy. Oof. I can't imagine myself with this in summer under the sun, like a hundred degree sun. Now let's go to the red one. The red one said that it can be styled, ironed, blow dried, everything. This retails for 22 and I got it for 19.82. So this is the most expensive out of the three. I'm going to flip it over, I think it's better. It's way better to flip it over. Grab the straps and tie them up. Let me try to not throw it. Oh, this feels good. This is even softer. It feels similar, but at the same time softer. Okay, let me put it to the back. And another wig with bangs. I chose all of them with bangs. I don't know why I did that. I think it was unconsciously. But what do you think about the red hair? These bangs are pretty good. Now over here they're horrible. Really ugly too. Look at that. You can see the strap, the black strap. Now, they are short bangs. It is made on purpose to be used obligatorily with the, the bangs to the front. You can style it with flat iron, blow dryer, and... It is... I don't know why. It is like lift over here. This has less hair in it. Like, it's less bulky. I should make a poll. Which one was your favorite hair color for Vivian? Okay, let me show you the model over here. Showing the wig. And this is me. Hair. Me. Hair. Me. <laughs> Do we look alike? Um, So-so. Kind of, yeah. It's super soft. The thing is that everything comes really well through here. When you get over here, all of them tangled. Any advice on how to work with them? It will be appreciated. So write in your comments. Any advice? What do you think about these cheating wigs? If you have any tips on how to fix them. It feels really soft, really silky. And the hair looks like real hair. Like pretty. I like it. I honestly do. I think if I will have to like use it obligatorily with the bangs to the front, I will cut them a little bit more. Let me see the size. They're pretty well covered. Oh, I got an ear covered. This is how it looks. In the back. Maybe I can do some pins over here.
What do you think, guys? In terms of colors, I like them all. The easiest one to manage was this one. It was actually the most expensive. The blonde one was a disaster. It's so nasty in the front. It is really bulky. But this one in the dark brown was quite pretty too. But the most comfortable of all was this red one. It has less hair. It's less bulky. The hair texture feels the same basically than the other ones. But this in specific set that can be styled with heat. So I believe this one is the best one in terms of everything, how it looks, to manage and all that kind of stuff. So let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite, what do you think about these wigs? In my opinion, I'm getting even more for the price because $14, $15, $19 you pay for Halloween wigs for kids and they're nasty bad really bad like uncomfortable itchy really hot for the head they tangle such a lot and by touching them you feel them like plastic and they look like plastic these ones look like real hair and they're silky 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 soft i love how they feel and they look so beautiful like real hair look at that they do not look like wigs only the seams in the front which is a fail if it wasn't for those seams in the front, they would be perfect. Absolutely perfect. So let me know your comments, your opinion. I will appreciate it. I hope you liked this video, that you had fun with me. So please like and subscribe. Subscribe over here where you will see my picture or below in the red button where it says subscribe and click the bell to either receive notifications, some notifications or no notifications. Be part of my crew. I will greatly appreciate your grain of sand on building this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.